Let's take a look at Audio Stretch, shall we? Audio Stretch is this one. Now, there are two versions. You can see here, there is the light version, which I've had before. We'll re-download that one. The light version is free. So I would download this first and play around with it and see if Audio Stretch is going to be for you. And then the full version. Now, the full version is $14.99 here in Australia. I think that's $7.99 US. Uh, Jade Star, I'm pretty sure you did a, a review on this or you used it in one of yours. And I w I've basically, I've been looking for this app for forever. So I've been trying to find this app for the longest possible time that just does one thing and does it well, which is enable you to adjust the BPM and or the pitch of your song without adjusting the other. So you can you can change the speed of your song, yeah? So you can reduce it down by say three semi, oh, sorry, three, three BPM or 10 BPM, but it's gonna reduce, it's gonna change your pitch or vice versa. You wanna re-pitch it by like three semitones, but you don't wanna change the BPM or the speed. Well, this is what Audio Stretch can do. So let's open it up and you can see here, I've been play, <laughs> playing around with it. So this is, a, I can't play this song, but this is actually a song that I, uh, that I used. It's a back track and I had someone here in the studio singing the other day and she was singing this song and said oh I, can I sing it three semitones higher and I was in GarageBand at the time and I was like this is that one thing that GarageBand really can't do well but take a look at this down the bottom here we've got speed and we've got pitch so you can see here that's where I've pitched it up three semitones pitch it back it comes down to zero semitones and then you can pitch it all the way up to 36 semitones either way which for music folks you'll know is three octaves so you can super chipmunk up stuff or you can uh, you can use it there let's uh, let's see if we can grab let's do a demo here i've got to remember how to use it now because i literally used it that one time <laughs> so this is how we can export things i think we can send things from here or there's an app picker way to do it i yeah, know great demo pete you, you don't even know how to use the app uh, let's see if we can send something from somewhere else while I work out how to, because I can't work out, I can't remember how to import, or do I just tap up here? There we go. I worked it out. Well done, Pete. It's not like you're a, you know, a music educator or anything. So we can use music. We can also do video here. This could be fun. Let's just try a video. Uh, we can take a video, we can go to our music, our video library, and we can update things. We can also go to browse and add things directly from our our app here. So that was an old Ava Cassidy tune I was doing there. Uh, why don't we bring in, let's find something cool to play around with here. We go to my iCloud Drive and we go to the Studio Live Today folder. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff in here to play with. Uh, what about some of my old video stings and transition? So here's the old Studio Live Today intro. It's a video version and I've never tried this with video before. So we're going to experiment with this together and see what happens. All right, that looks cool. So here's my video. It's at speed one. It's at pitch zero, and if we play it, uh, whoop, I've lost my pack. Ah, oh, dropped my mouse. If we play it and turn up the volume, it'll sound like this. Cool. But what if I'm like, oh, I've never really liked how that goes. I've never really liked the speed of that. Whoop. That was the, I wanted to deliberately show you that, that you can actually scrub through it either way. But what if I wanted this faster? Well, let's say if we wanted to boost this up to one and a half times the speed as it was before, but we want to keep the pitch the same. Well, we do this, we hit play. And suddenly it's going crazy fast. Or what if we wanted to keep the speed the same, speed at one, but we wanted it to be higher. Let's take it up, say, five semitones higher. And now we play it. Cool, yeah. And uh, again, we want to go lower. We want to take it all the way down. We like it there, but we want it to be a bit lower. We want to Barry Whiteify this. Now, you're probably hearing in there that you're generating some artifacts. So speeding up and slowing down music and, and things it's never going to sound exactly like the original. So don't go in this with expectations that it's going to be perfection. Because remember, audio is like samples. So especially when you're slowing things down, it's having to stretch out. It's filling in the gaps where no samples exist. So slowing something down is actually going to make it sound usually a lot degraded. Speeding it up is not as bad, but again, it doesn't work perfectly. And then if we want to export this, we can just tap here and it will export. We can export, we can email it, we can open in, which means we can save it into anywhere we like. So when I was doing this project, uh, as I said, I had the backing track. She wanted to sing it three semitones higher. So I simply said, yep, I got gotcha. you. Quickly downloaded audio stretch in the background because I didn't actually own it at that point. And then threw it in here, put it up three semitones, hit play and said, is this about what you want? And it played back. And then all I did was grab this, exported it back as a WAV file, 
threw it into GarageBand, and we were good to go. So, yeah, I've been looking for something like this for a long time. One moment. I've been looking for something just like this for a really long time because I wanted something simple enough that anyone can just throw in any audio file, and in this case, video file, and it's going to actually change that for them. And especially for electronic music producers, if you're bringing in samples, if you're sampling other songs, and you want to change it up. The only thing I do wish you had was BPM detection and the ability to actually put a BPM in here. That'd be cool. You have to do a little bit of mathematics. So you have to go, well, it's 100 BPM. I want it at 120. I better put it up for 1.2 times speed. But of course, if it's a BPM of 107, and then you have to want it, you want it like to be at a BPM of 120. Four, yeah, you need some mathematical equations to do that. So that should be fun, though. All righty. Uh, that, is, that is our app of the week. I hope you uh, can uh, get some fun out of that. Like I say, grab the free version. Uh, I'll, put, uh, I'll put a link to the free and the paid version down in the description so that you can check it out.